it just turns into a snowball uh, without any facts. As misinformation about the COVID-19 vaccine spreads through social media, a group of Canadian scientists are fighting back. It's just a matter of looking at facts versus opinion. Kamar is the president of one of 10 scientific societies that are asking Canadians to get the vaccine when it's available to them. We just want to make sure that with COVID-19, uh, you know, the devastation we have seen, the mortality we have seen around the world, and now that in record time we have vaccines ready for it, we thought it was uh, important for us to just remind Canadians uh, that 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 we need to protect ourselves. The percentage of Canadians who say they're willing to get the vaccine has gone up since November. According to an Ipsos poll, 72% of Canadians say they're comfortable with the idea. That number drops to 66% here in Manitoba. One of the biggest fears among skeptics, long-term and adverse side effects. Canada's last updated numbers from January 15th showed 27 serious adverse events following immunization. That's 0.004% of all people immunized. There are very rare acute problems of people who have vaccines who develop an anaphylactic reaction or some, you know, very, very low probability event. But so those things do happen. But links between vaccines and long term deficits as a as a epidemiological uh, concern, are, there's no support for that. But those who get the virus and survive can be left with long term health concerns, which affect different parts of the body, including the brain. And whenever you talk about damaging the brain, you're, of course, very concerned about long-term effects because the brain doesn't really repair itself all that well. The long-term effects of the virus aren't fully understood yet, but both scientists are confident there's no data to show long-term adverse effects of the vaccine, which is a small part of the virus's RNA that is later destroyed by the body. Compare that with uh, with a natural infection where you have the entire virus coming in and, and it brings in all these nasty genes that encode for all these nasty proteins, uh, which makes us or a lot of us sick. They plan to get the shot when they can. When I'm eligible, I'll be the first in line. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.